Hello everyone, I am back with another video discussing my park plans for 2021. Hopefully my audio this time will be much better than that of my previous video. We all have had our park plans affected this year, with most parks being closed for the majority of the season already and most not being ready to open until July. We've had lots of time to think about next year. I have come up with a list of parks that I would like to visit in the upcoming year. Note that this will not be a big trip, rather these will be a lot of small one-day trips. All these parks are not more than three to four hours away from my house. So in no specific order, here is a list of the parks I plan on going to next year besides my home park of Cedar Point. Kings Island, located in Mason, Ohio. I went to Kings Island last summer, 2019, and got most of the credits, with Orion opening this year. I plan on going down to ride my first B&M Giga coaster. Yes, it's a Giga. There are two other rides besides the ENF Miller Kids Coaster that I need to ride. Those two are the Flying Ace Aerial Chase and Woodstock Express. I did not get those credits in my 2019 visit. The Racer was only running on the red side the day that I went, so I'd like to take a ride on the other side also. The next park that I plan on going to is located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and it is named Kennywood. I'm a sucker for wooden roller coasters, so I am really looking forward to visiting this park. They have three historic wooden coasters, Thunderbolt, Jackrabbit, and Racer. All extremely generic names, but that's beside the point. They all look to be extremely fun. They also have a lot of historic flat rides and attractions. I'm looking forward to Noah's Ark, the walkthrough attraction, and the Old Mill water ride. Conneaut Lake, located in, you guessed it, Conneaut Lake, Pennsylvania. This place looks pretty darn sketchy. Blue Streak looks like a rough ride, and from what I've seen on YouTube, it definitely is. But I do look forward to riding Devil's Den which is some sort of funhouse type attraction. It's really weird. The same day that I visit Conneaut Lake, I plan to also visit Waldemere, because those are two smaller parks, and I think I could get most of what I want to ride done in one day. But you let me know in the comment section below if I should take two separate trips. Waldemere is located in Erie, Pennsylvania. It is another small park well known for its main attraction, Ravine Flyer 2. A new small spinning coaster will also open in 2020, so I hope to get that credit in 2021. The final park that I plan on going to next year is Busch Gardens Tampa, located in Tampa, Florida. Our family is taking a trip to Tampa next year to go to the beach, and I've convinced them to take a day to go to Busch Gardens. I'm not really looking forward to riding Iron Gwazi as much as I am the Schwarzkopf ride, Scorpion. I don't know if I'm just overhyping Schwarzkopf roller coasters, but from what I've seen on the internet and what people have said, they are very intense. But of course I am looking forward to riding Iron Gwazi also, to see if it actually will beat Cedar Point's Steel Vengeance. I'm not sure it will. Guess we'll have to see. And the OG BNM Invert Montu. Seems to be a really cool ride. Other parks that are kind of a stretch but would be nice to visit next year are Kentucky Kingdom in Louisville, Kentucky, Holiday World in Santa Claus, Indiana, Indiana Beach in Monticello, Indiana, Strickler's Grove in Ross, Ohio, Fun Spot Orlando in Kissimmee, Florida. Hopefully 2021 will be a much better year, not only for parks, but in general. I really hope to add a number of credits to my coaster count, and if anybody has any suggestions or tips on how to visit and how to utilize a day at any of these individual parks, please let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.